been working with uh, 29 farmers. The training that I was doing is uh, per farm, so I was attending farmers each at their own farms. So the aim at that time was to ensure that each and every farmer that I trained knows about feed conservation that are secure even when there is a rot. I also concentrated on uh, teaching farmers on goats keeping because those farmers didn't do a bit and uh, they, they only keep the milk record that they supply to the cooperative because that is the one that is giving the, the accounts by the end of the month. So even if a farmer you asked them, they, they could not tell how much milk a certain cow is producing per day. We also trained about breeds, on how to improve breeds. Most farmers really thought that a cow comes on heat and you just call the vet and they just give an AI to the cow and they don't know the breed, the type and what they want to improve. Now they are really appreciating the idea that they want a cow to be better than the one that they have right now. We also have been dealing with the pasture establishment, especially Lusan and Supernipia. Those are the main proteins that do well in Nyandarwa. So that is what I had been concentrating on. And uh, Supernipia is doing very well. And uh, Lusan also is doing very well, although we still have a challenge of a herbicide that can control weeds in Lusan. Because weeding is, is consuming a lot of money for farmers, if it is possible we can have our researchers set us a herbicide that can be used to control weeds in Lusan so that we may use it as a protein source. So our savior had, has been Super Nipia. Super Nipia has not been having so many challenges. We are doing it. For example, in this farm that we are in, we, are, we, we have almost an acre. We established a uh, super nipia, and uh, I think by the end of the year we shall be harvesting for the first time. There's a portion that we have harvested already for two times, and it is serving as well. It is, uh, and when we are using it, we don't have to use a lot of concentrates. So we've also been uh, teaching them about uh, their their financial records so that they are able to, to, to track their profitability for the farm, especially in the dairy production. So farmers have appreciated. We've been having a very good time in, 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 in trying to get better ways and techniques in, to, to carry on with dairy, the dairy farming. We've not come across with, with a model such as this because of the extension of the, the extension services that we've been having before is, is, is group training where extension officers call for groups and they train. And uh, the challenge has been that when you train a farmer, put a calf and they don't have a calf, they go home and put those notes on the shelf. So by the time they have a calf, they can't remember. But in this model, you attend a farmer, you find they have a calf, you teach them about calf rearing. You go to another farmer, you find that they have a dry cow, you train them on how to manage a dry cow. So it is a, it is a very good model to attend farmers, their needs at their own home. So, uh, and, uh, and another thing about pasture, pasture establishment, when you teach a group about pasture establishment and the measurements and everything, some might forget and they may not be establishing on that day. So when they have to establish, you find that they have already got forgotten about how to do it. But when you do it on the farm, you train the farmer, you do it with them, they are, they, they, they are very good at it and it is sticks in their mind. Conservation farmers didn't really know how to conserve feed and they didn't know the importance. So they were just uh, feeding the animals and then when their feeds were over, they just graze, graze them. So in the dry season, you find the milk production has gone down. In the rainy season, because there's a lot of uh, a lot of weeds and, and grasses and fodder is uh, available, the milk production goes up. So besides to manage uh, weeds in Busan. We need research so that we get them. We also need for Napier because now we manage Napier by weeding. But Napier is not as hard as Lusan. So we, 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 if we can get those herbicides, they can be very helpful to the farmers. And uh, we, also, we also see that farmers appreciate this model. So if, if, if it continues, uh, the farmers will appreciate it.